Let me explain when kicking you in the face would be lawful and when it would be unlawful. There are four main principles a police officer needs to adhere to to ensure their use of force on you is lawful. Legitimacy, necessity, proportionality and justification in the specific context of a police encounter. The first principle, legitimacy, concerns any use of force must be in pursuit of a legitimate objective as defined by law. Therefore, a police officer kicking you in the face would need to achieve a specific legitimate objective, such as preventing a crime, affecting a lawful arrest, or protecting themselves or others from harm. An illegitimate objective would be kicking you in the face to teach you manners because you have been lippy or because of a hostility towards you due to your age, race or religion. Any use of force for an illegitimate purpose not defined by the law would be unlawful. The second principle, necessity, concerns any use of force by a police officer must only be used when it is absolutely necessary in the circumstances to achieve one or more of those legitimate objectives as defined by law. Therefore, a police officer who genuinely perceives you as a serious and immediate threat to the officer's or another person's life and the non-physical force means have failed, like a warning to you or to talk you to subdue you or a non-use of force means are unavailable, then the action of kicking you in the face would be deemed necessary. In other words, the use of force against you must be the last resort, not the first. But where the actions of kicking you in the face is not necessary because you are not an immediate and serious threat in the circumstances would mean the actions of the police officer is unlawful. The third principle, proportionality, concerns the amount or level of force used must be reasonable and proportionate to the threat the police officer faces in the circumstances to achieve one or more of those legitimate objectives as defined by law. And the amount of force used must be the minimum to achieve those legitimate objectives. A kick to the face is a very severe and extreme measure and would only be an appropriate response to a very severe and exceptional threat and danger, such as if you are armed with a knife attacking the officer, or for example, you are involved in a struggle and you are attempted to take the officer's firearms from him or her. And it would be reasonable and a proportionate response to kick you in the face to achieve the legitimate objectives as defined by law. But if you do not present such a real danger, then the level or amount of force used by the police officer to kick you in the face would not be a reasonable and proportionate response and therefore unlawful. Justification is the final principle, which underpins all the other principles. The principle means the police officer must be in a position to justify each use of force action, including the use of a taser, spray, punch, and yes, a kick to the face based on the information, intel and observations at the time. Factors such as what you say or do, past behaviour, the threat level and the situational context are all relevant considerations when determining if the police use of force was, for a legitimate objective, necessary and a reasonable and proportionate response. In other words, justifiable. If the police action cannot be justified, then the particular action, in this case kicking you in the face, would be unlawful. What you can see is the police use of force is governed by a strict legal framework of four main principles, legitimacy, necessity, proportionality and justification. That framework is aimed at balancing the need for law enforcement with the protection of individual rights. So while kicking you or anyone in the face is a severe use of force, there are exceptional circumstances when it might be legally permissible for a police officer to do so. Each case is highly fact specific and any use of such force is likely to be closely scrutinised with reference to all available evidence, including CCTV footage, body worn camera footage, witnesses and medical evidence. Any deviation from the four principles as outlined can result in severe legal consequences for the police officer, including criminal charges for assaulting you. Feel free to comment, know the law, know your rights and follow for more.